Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are going to do a February plan with me because I made major changes in my planner and you need to see them. So, first of all, we still have our February and our master to-do list up front. We still have our, um, oh God, I forgot what that thing's called, a uh, page uh, that tells us what's going on this month. We have our monthly view, and that tells me what the little dots are for. And then we have our accomplishments. It's a new edition. Accomplishments page because I really need this. And our memories page so I remember what, you know, important stuff happened this month. And, of course, we have our pages. Now, this is going to change next month. I'm going to tell you ahead of time. But here's our monthly pages. Here's our routines. And this one's really messy and really icky. And I don't like it. That's why I'm changing the way I do the, the setup next month. Here is next week's page, and instead of having a place in the back where I have my food listed, all I need to know is if I ate or not that day, because believe it or not, guys, I do forget. And this is my water intake. So we have four little things for water intake there, and then we have the meals and my little boxes, which will have a BLD, and I just either color them in or cross it off, either way. So that's next week. This is the week after. Now I put this in. I can't take it up without tearing it out. So I'm going to have to figure out a meal thing. Probably just put it right there. I don't do much on Tuesday anyway. But I need stuff like this and this prettiness. I got out of drawing a lot of stuff in my planners. And that really threw me off. Big time. And then here's the back page where I'll put more memories for the month and the last day. And something important that I need to remember for that day. Now, this is my finances. We don't need to see that. Um, but this is what I spend during the month. And then I started getting back into my drawing again. Uh, I had stopped drawing. I was stopped doodling completely. And that really bothered me. So, this is my doodles for the month. I'm going to have two blank pages in here for doodles every month. And then we're going to go to March, which March we're, we're, we'll see later. But I wanted to show you the changes to my channel pages, which this page hasn't been worked on yet. Um, let me get all the way up here. Okay, this is my seven days to day, die schedule of when the horde nights are. I started listing my channel stats on the back of that because it seemed convenient. And I will have another page in here when I run out of space here. Now, this is how I'm going to do my vlogs from now on, my vlog ideas, and if I carry them out or not. And this is vlog ideas for the next month. That's messy because I wasn't sure how to do it. This is February's month. The Plan With Me Ladies, uh, or the Ladies World videos go here, equal with the, month, the week they're going to be made. So that's going to be a big help to me, too. And, of course, uh, on the back of that is my game videos that I'm going to be making. And what, you know, what I execute, you know, plan, record, edit, um, the, pl the planning part is where I write the script, if I need a script, but these are unscripted, so. And, let's see, these are from February and January, well, January and February, these are my, um, they're dashboards, that's what I'm looking, the word I'm looking for, the dashboard pages, but I'm not sure I'm going to use them anymore. They really have not been helping me a lot. Unfortunately, they're a printout that I bought, I paid for, so, but they're not helping me as much as I was hoping, as the big calendar is, so, yeah. So, there we go, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, in the back here, I have taken out some sections. Uh, the daily section is going to go, uh, that is going to go, because I won't need that anymore. And that is, it's just too cumbersome flipping back and forth through all this stuff every day to mark this. But this was my water intake, and that's what I ate for the day. Like I said, I don't need to know what I ate. I just need to know if I ate. So, and then, of course, the yearly routines. I'm going to make this tab say yearly, and I'm going to put other yearly things back here. I'm going to have a, a weekly, or, a, yeah, a daily a monthly and a yearly thing where I keep um, what's going on all year long. So, And then I've got my little pocket back there with stuff in it. And, of course, I will always have my medical notes. This is a very important section in my planner 
uh, because mm. this is where I keep notes so I can tell my doctors what was talked about with each and every doctor because I go to three different doctors. So this helps me tell each and every doctor what we talked about at every appointment. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much it um, for now. Uh, so, yeah, I have started putting uh, sayings in here again, uh, quotes, because that really helps me with my mental and everything. Because believe it or not, guys, even when you get old, you suffer from depression and anxiety and all the emotions that young people suffer from. Sometimes they're even worse for us old folks, uh, like crime and all that. You get scared. So I like to put these in here because it helps me. And I also started putting one on almost every page. Like this one says, every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. And do I have one? Your best teacher is your last mistake. And that is so true. Oh my God. And this one doesn't really have a saying on it, but love and that I'm blessed, which I'm very blessed and I, I, I'm loved. This one is, how do you know you can't until you try? And then this one is, I am confident, I'm positive, I meet my goals, I'm getting stronger. All of which is true. All of which is very true. And then the last one back here, I could just get these pages open. It's hard because they're all, these, these plastic things tend to stick to the pages. So we're going to uh, cover that. So yeah, nobody needs to see that. Uh, the last one says, stop and smell the flowers and remember this. So now... Let me flip all this back over and close this. Now, something else I do, guys, and I wanted to show you. This is my cell phone. And, oops, okay, we'll just lay it down. Um, what I do when I don't have this with me, because I can't always carry this with me. So, I have an appointment calendar here. And what I do is I mark down appointments when I make them or things that I have to remember here, like that. And then I transfer it here. I'm not going digital. I don't like to do that because it's very hard to maneuver this and it's much easier for pen and paper, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes I have to do that as a, like this is a grocery list and this is a reminder to do something or something's coming up that day. So there you go. There's my planning routine. Uh, I start at the first of the month with the master to-do list and then I go ahead and look at my goals and stuff. And I put the stuff in as it has to be done, like this week. So I write the things in here, and then I do them. And I, then I mark them off over here. That's my planning routine, guys. I hope this helps you to work with your planner. I am a big believer that everybody needs some kind of a planner. Everyone should have one. Even if it's a little spiral-bound notebook where you write stuff down in, everybody needs one. So thanks for watching, and until next time, we will see you for Plan With Me in March. Bye-bye for now. Remember, you're never too old to game. You're never too old to plan. You're never too old to do anything you put your mind to.